Busy freeway, horse-drawn cart, only in Brazil. I think Jen's on it, trying to get to the gig. Actually, the rest of the band is across the street. They're right now shopping at the mall. Brazil. You know, there's times when life is rough, but not when you're staying in a five-star hotel. We're four days in a row, sleeping every night. We're about ready to do an interview. I love your dreads. Look at the dreads. Look at how fat these things are. Big dreads. Look at the tat. Oh my gosh. Wow. Cool fashion. So we're here in our suite, and Priscilla is next to me. Priscilla está perto de mim. Estamos no nosso quarto. And uh, tell us what this is for. Uh, this is an, uh, for an interview. We wanted to to hear Christopher uh, say some uh, answers for our questions here in Brazil. And what's the show? What is the TV station? Well, we have uh, a Christian TV station named Rede Super, which belongs to a Baptist church, Lagoinha Baptist Church here in Belo Horizonte, in Brazil. And we have in this TV station many programs, and Priscilla presents this uh, amplificador, um, amplifier, mm -hmm. amplificador program, TV show. It's about video clips and bands and. Uh, and this is a big church. You guys are a big church. Yeah, we have a big church here in Brazil. Forty-six thousand members. And Rede Super Stage TV station is the largest Christian TV station in Brazil. Evangelical one. No way. And and Judge do Trono has a. Judge do Trono is the the main worship team in our church, uh, Lagoinha Baptist Church. Excellent. And so they're associated with this whole thing. And so we're doing this interview, and we have a translator. Thank God. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to leave now. And Avon is not here. I don't know where she is. And we need to go. She's at the mall shopping. She saw some pumas that the hostess for this uh, this TV interview. I don't understand Avi when she has the best shops in America and why she wants to buy in Brazil. The most expensive place in the world. Be because it's here. <laughs> it's here and it's now. Okay, so so we how long do we have to drive? One hour and a half. What time is late. it right now? I don't know what time is it right now, but we need to go. Avi, where are you? If it's you see this video, please, we need to hear. Ah. It's almost 5.30. What time are we are we performing? We are performing in 10 minutes. And it, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can shut that. Well, let's put this inside. Ah. Put that inside there, yeah. All right, so we're waiting on my wife. The whole band wants to leave. Everybody needs to leave. And she wants to shop. Yeah. What do you think about that? When I arrive here, I will... You're going to slap her? Yeah. Her booms. <laughs> Or booms! <laughs> or booms! <laughs> no, she's not uh, talking. Maybe she's in interview or something like no, that. She, yeah, she's in an interview in the in the Foot Locker Puma store. That's where she's in, getting an interview. I don't believe on that! Why do you allow that? <laughs> I don't believe in that. <laughs> I love it. I love Brazil. All right. Hey, you guys go ahead. I'll get a ride with this guy, okay? Uh -huh. Go. Vamonos. You guys are on, or on your way without us. Avian and I are going to have to... Oh, she just got here! Did you get him? No, but oh. she, she offered to... She's giving me hers as a present. <laughs> wow! I just Beautiful. have to get slippers. I don't have what time do to run and get slippers. Slippers for what? Because she can wear. <laughs> oh. Run! Where's my keys? <laughs> you are so sweet. <laughs> You are so sweet. You are so nice. Wow, this girl is giving. <laughs> she's trying to be pretend like she's mad. Oh, sticky. Sticky. <laughs> wow. Priscila. Yeah. Muito obrigado. Obrigado eu. Welcome to Brazil forever. You'll see my wife wearing these shoes on stage. Yeah! <laughs> You'll see my wife wearing these shoes on stage. <laughs> yeah. Hi. What happened, dude? What happened? Stop! I Tell me! Cut my finger open. You cut your what? <gasps> oh no! Do we need stitches? Wait, 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 close up. I gotta do a close up. Do we need stitches? No. 
Just just a band-aid. Just a band-aid. That's it? Yeah. You don't need like a cast or anything? I'm super tough. So how'd you do that? Opening the window in oh, the van. Man. Wow. Van you weren't juggling switch plagues or anything? No, no, no. That was earlier. All right. Well, we hope you're better. Here she comes. Run, baby. Run, baby. We got to go to the show. Are you sure they're going to fit, baby? Are you sure that, that her shoes okay, are going to fit? The exact same size? Yeah. You got to give her a big hug. Yeah. Give her a big hug. Wait, how do you say hug in Portuguese? How do you say hug? Oh. That's a trade. <laughs> Thank you. It's for you. Bye. So we're on our way to the venue, hour and a half drive. If we have the horse cart in front of us, it may take a little bit longer. Avion went hunting for some Puma shoes that the host of our interview was wearing and they didn't have them so she gave her hers. Look at the coconut water. Oh man, this is just so apropos. <laughs> He's like, why are you filming me? So Kevin just had yet another booking victory. It looks like uh, we may be coming back to Brazil in September. What's the date again? The 10th. The 10th in the Sao Paulo district. And this time we would be uh, playing in front of 25,000 people. One of the unique things about this tour is it seems like the Lord. I see you, Obi. I see you back there. Why don't you just, here, I'm going to talk and you, and you just move your mouth like you're talking, okay? So it seems like the Lord is doing something unique this time in that we're making this transition from smaller churches or medium-sized churches or even big churches, big, big churches in Brazil to arenas, which is really cool. And so I'm very excited about that. Are you? I'm excited. <laughs> This place is gorgeous. I do understand why it's called Beautiful Horizon. Favelas on all sides. Rolling hills. Heavy traffic. And our driver almost getting us in an accident. I told him, please, next time you're about ready to hit somebody, let me know so I could turn on the camera first so you guys can witness it. <laughs> 